spells and welcome to Caster's Magic. Alright, hello everybody and welcome to Caster's Magic and today we're going to be doing uh, the first of what is going to hopefully be a series where I give my honest opinion of kits, stuff packs, game packs, and, expan and expansion packs from The Sims 4, as well as the, uh, the items we got uh, in base game. Uh, back when I first got the game, though. Not any time prior. I think I got it four years after release. So it will be four years post-release base game to now opinions. That'll be a whole project in and of itself. So, <clears throat> today was the release of the, what was it? Goth Galore Kit. There we go. Uh, it came with this set of earrings, which, give me a sec, I need to, <laughs> I need to put my hair up. Uh... Oh, right. There's no hair in this kit, just so everyone's aware. There. Oh, any of my hair up hairstyles. There we go. So we've got uh, gauges, uh, a cuff. Interesting. So there's this uh, asymmetry vibe going on. I like that. Uh, being that, you know, if you look real close at my Sims face, it is actually a asymmetrical as well, which is accurate to my own face. Fun fact. Uh, let's see, what else did we get? Oh, I didn't even set up makeup. I didn't think about that. <laughs> ah. Of course, it's, it's a goth kit. Of course there's gonna be makeup. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. That's it? This is what they gave us for goth galore? God, I wish that had been a fa fake reaction because I'm, I'm genuinely pissed right now. <sighs> Three items. What? An eyeshadow, an eyeliner, and an, uh... Yep, an eyeshadow? Let's see. Nope, not an eyeliner. Not blush. Where's the lipstick? Yep, here's the lipstick. Is it a face paint? It is. A face paint. Eyeshadow and lipstick. <sighs> okay. Let's get a look at them. Alright, so that's the deepest black swatch. There's this gray looks like a purple-ish. There's a green. That's interesting. I like the red. Th I'll probably use this. Uh, probably won't use that. Ooh, I'll definitely use this. For sure. I like that saturated purple. And this one, the indigo. Blue is interesting. It's another off gray purple. There's a green. It's what looks like a shade of brown. And another red. And of course you can adjust the colors of that. Or the, the, um, the saturation and the hue and the uh, the brightness and the, what was this other one? O opacity. And, uh, this is what the, uh, lipstick looks like. 
I don't mind the purple. Kind of like the purple. And the magenta. I like that one too. I don't like that brown on me, but it could just be because I'm white or like really, really, really white and it just doesn't look right on my skin tone. Kinda like that. It's it's giving a Barbie look. I like that. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't know how to speak. And there's another gray, a uh, shade of white, a, uh, a turquoise. What looks like a darker version of the same color. It's a uh, shade of charcoal, I think. Another brown and another deep red. I like that. That's all right. There's only a couple of swatches. Ooh, okay. The thumbnail was not promising. I like how it actually looks on the sim. It's not bad. There's the gray, red, ooh. You horror simmers might want to grab a hold of this. The pink. I feel like if I had a sim <laughs> like if my pink generation sim for a not so berry challenge had like a phase where they were like oh yeah like a parenthood phase um where they turn up the music to full blast and uh <laughs> stomp around and slam doors and all that shit <laughs> whatever the <laughs> whatever the thing says i think that's what i'd probably use and then there's a there's a gray a white, a blue, a multicolor chrome, I guess. A chrome. Kind of went with the uh, the Grunge Revival kit that we got. There's a gold, uh, more legitimate gold instead of the br bright gold little red color and yet another pink actually now that I think about it I think if I ever do a uh, not so bar not so berry challenge and the pink gen actually does get that notification of hey the sims going through a phase I will deliberately go into cast and dress them in this kit just so it has it just so those pink swatches have a use because <laughs> otherwise they won't get used <laughs> uh i was gonna say i think i think that was very specifically targeted these two were very specifically targeted at uh the pastel goth section <laughs> of the community which is fine, like, there's there's obviously facets of every community, so. Having that there is pretty cool. For, for at least that part of the storyline. Then we've got, ooh, I'm digging this. Because it's not, like, all up on the neck, but it's still, like, very much a choker situation more laxed. I like this one. Ooh. Ooh. New favorite. Oh god, that is going on every purple colored sim. Or purple coated sim, sorry. That's kind of a... I made this using old jeans. Very punk goth situation going on with this swatch. I like that. There's more of that red. Pink again. A white for some reason. There's that chrome. Ooh, and a pure black set. Alright. 
I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Not bad. I'm still pretty upset that this is all we got as far as makeup goes. But I'm slowly coming around. What do we got here? Ooh. Okay. It's giving secret agent. Like, like this would be Bella's work attire, almost. Oh. And the swatches are different. Like, different, different. I like this. That's not bad. The spider webs. The spider webs are a vibe. I like that. Okay. This feels like a pastel pink superhero vibe. Like that's their costume. Then we've got. Ooh! I have been wanting leather jackets in the sims for a while now with t-shirts underneath i like that and they're like relatively normal swatches thank you ea finally again pissed that you called it goth galore and this is all we got but okay I'm I'm seeing the vision. <laughs> what? What the fuck? The fuck is this? Is it just a fucking black t-shirt with with belt straps on it? Okay. At least there's like Swatches with something on the side here. But that's seriously it for this shirt? And it is a mask frame. That's why my uh, chest is all wonky. It is a mask frame shirt, so. Oh, and I'm sorry, there's, there's separate colored patches on the chest. Because that makes it different. Okay. Pastel goth prince having a moment. I'm not against it. All right. Not super underwhelmed, but not pleasantly surprised either. Although I did want more of these these ripped shirts for like werewolves and stuff. So this is kind of like the Grunge Revival was. Um, and add-ons as far as cast goes for werewolves. In my eyes. It's DLC for DLC, but you can use it in base game just fine. It kind of feels like this was designed with some of the werewolf stuff in mind, which, fine by me. I mean, I've got CC, that's werewolf add-ons, so. Could be worse. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, okay, so we've got a a blue and a pink pastel uh, vibe going on for this t-shirt. The layered one. I like that. Oh, that's adorable. This feels like something that like Bella would have worn in her youth. Like, like to, to school. Maybe not to school, but just in general. Like on a, on a day. <laughs> 
Is that the last one of this one? Yeah. Okay. It looks like it's the bone maid. Was that, was that Bone Hilda? Oh, okay. This one. This one I fucks with. I, I like this. This is a good one. Because I could pair this with uh, stuff from Cottage Living and make a, a vi vampire royalty aesthetic with this. I like that. That's not bad. Because with the way that it's... I want to... Hold on. I'll, I'll show you that in a, in a little bit. Oh! I like that, too. Because it could just be a normal princess-esque outfit or like a prom outfit with like a specific skirt. That wouldn't look too bad. All right, all right. I'm seeing some inspiration here. I might be able to get something out of this. I'm- WHAT?! I like what's going on with the sleeves there. That ripped texture off into the ether. That's difficult to do, but you guys gave it an attempt. I like that. This is another masculine framed. One, two. There is two. And what I'm assuming to be one, two additional, like, unisex outfits. So there's two female specific outfits. I'm sorry, three. There we go. Three, I'm sorry, male specific outfits. Three unisex outfits. And then three centered around females. Yay. Ba if you're gonna balance out a pack, give us three of each or two of each. Not two for men, three for either, and then three for female. That's imbalanced and we can't play like this. Our male sims look boring and shitty because you guys refuse to give us content for male sims. Ooh, yes. The highlight of the kit right here. Yes, this is the highlight of the kit. I believe that wholeheartedly. A lot of the swatches are just the same shit over and over and over again. Okay, there's the, the blue and the pink again show, showing up. I like that. <clears throat> okay. I was gonna say, I think the either the basic black or this red detailing is my favorite. I think I'll stick with the red detailing as my favorite for this one. This is the this is the highlight of the pack. <laughs> oh! So we're doing the uh, completely different for the same colors thing again. I like that. The CC, the CC creators do that sometimes and it's easier to read than just nonsense sometimes. Okay. I vibe with it. That's not bad. I do think there was more potential than what I'm seeing here right now. Alright, so we got those shorts and it's- oh, okay. The patched mesh. Alright. I see. I see what you did. Yeah, the patched mesh again. Spider webs. I like these pants. They also kind of give me um, secret agent vibes. Yeah, but there's that pastel color again. I think this would be, again, my, my favorite swatch of this set. Here we've got, ooh, skull belt buckle. That's cute. I'm not sure what's going on with this, like, vinery print in that purple swatch. Or that mock purple swatch. Like, it looks purple in this, but then you, like, put it on the actual sim and it doesn't look purple. <laughs> There's that red color again. Hey! Now this is what I imagined Cassandra's skirt looking like. Right here. This is what I wanted for her. Eh, not the mesh. Or the patched mesh. Oh, okay. I could see her wearing this too, though. I really like that, that belt. Ooh, okay, so this looks like it's a set. Although it could just be that they're designing these kits to be interswappable, which I do appreciate. That makes it, that gives it points in the uh, replayability category, at least. I do that, I, I like that pink, again, for the, uh, the pastel goth vibe. I do not like these shorts for it though. Okay. I I find this little like patch on the one leg interesting. I do like these pants. I don't like that it boxes out feminine hips, but you guys are working on that and I'm seeing it. 
I appreciate it. Listen to us sooner next time, though, if you would. Please. Because I'm still experiencing the bullshit with uh, female sims chests being shrunken in when they wear a masculine formed sims top. Like, that's- WHAT?! WHAT THE FUCK?! That's not how- that's not how clothes work. I like the boots. Ooh, okay. Those might be my favorite of the boots. <laughs> of this set of boots. The chrome is good. The gray's not bad. Purple's good too. I like that. And then the full purple. Ooh. You get to choose your level of purple. <laughs> choose your purple. Alright, more of the, the pastel boots. Okay. Ooh! Stomping on business. Love these. Ooh, and again, I am here for the chrome situation going on here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Ooh, love the purple. That is a good shade. I like that. Okay. Oh. I again, I forgot. There's another there's another category that I need to look at. What's going on here? Okay, so we've got a wrist cuff on the uh, the right wrist. And do remember cuz they're they're mirrored, so technically this is her right hand. There's that purple again coming up. Nice. Nice little indigo, gray, that was black, red. Pastel, white, chrome, matte, black, and then we've got gloves? Gloves. I was gonna say, is it gloves or glove? Singular. Okay, okay. I like the gloves too. They're not bad. Okay. There's, again, my favorite swatch right there. Like, I know my favorite color is purple, but this, this black and red swatch is... It's hidden. <laughs> Alright. And then we grab these. Uh, we fix up. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. I think the. It's two thirty. I think the. Uh... Oh, <laughs> the bracelet isn't isn't visible. I can't do that. Oh well. The gloves are just barely visible. I like that though. It's kind of a a vibe. I like this. This is a uh... yeah. Oh yeah. It's not it's not an everyday kit. It's not something you'll be able to use for everything. I'm sure like the boots will be good for like work boots and stuff. And like the you can do like Halloween costumes and do parties where you like put a a Halloween costume together and it's just what you switch to when the party starts and there's, there's some stuff you could use this stuff for. Um, I would recommend buying it with something else that's on sale. That way you're not, like, blowing four dollars that aren't, like... <laughs> that way you're not blowing four dollars on something that can't be just... thrown together using... Curse Forge and Free CC instead, because uh, I mean this is CC jeans, uh, Converse. Well, that's not that's not Gothic. Um, let's see. I've got another one, I'm sure. Well, this this is the alternative. There's a Gothic vibe in here somewhere. This is CC. This is CC. These are CC. It's got a, a pentacle on it. This is also CC. Yeah, like there there are other ways to get this kind of a look. If you would rather use EA, that's like completely your prerogative. Good for you. Um, I mean, I obviously bought the pack myself, so I'm going to be using it. Um, but I'm also EA's bitch, so <laughs> so I kind of just go along with whatever. But um, I I definitely think there was more potential here than the team gave us. 
like at the very least we could have gotten more makeup options for a makeup centric style choice i think leaning into the makeup would have been a good idea because as far as base game makeup goes we have a shit ton of eyelash eyeshadow a little bit of eyeliner some blush quite a bit of lipstick and a couple of things of face paint. Like, <laughs> they could have leaned heavily into the makeup aspect of this and they chose not to, and I'm disappointed by that. Um, again, if you do want to get this, I, re I really would wait and like toss it in a bundle with something else or, or purchase it at the same time as something else again when it's on sale. Uh, kits don't go on sale, but the the stuff packs, the game packs, and the expansion packs do. So if you bundle those when they're on sale and toss the kit in, I think it would be worthwhile. Like if you got, um, <laughs> I don't know, uh, the, the bowling stuff kit, werewolves, and uh, get famous and tossed this in there, like I think that would be a worthwhile deal, but I don't think it's worth purchasing on its own, unless you already have everything else and cannot put it in a bundle with anything else, <laughs> unless you purchase a massive amount of kits all at once, <laughs> or purchase Batu, which I do not own. So, <laughs> I think this is the highlight outfit of the kit, EA, genuinely. I think you guys need to work with us a little bit more. Because there have been kits and, and uh, packs that you've made and uh, content that you've put into the base game. Like uh, like this. Like the highlight. Designed by Peachy Fairy. That was designed by a simmer. You guys use us. You talk to us. You like our ideas. Keep talking to us. Keep working with us. Keep using our designs. We like it. We like seeing our stuff in here. And normally we design stuff because we want to see it in here. And normally it's also because other people want to see it in here. Just like we do. Work with us, EA. We want to. We are asking you to come talk to us and ask us to work with you. Just... Oh, okay. There are decent things in this pack. EA did a really nice job of, of at least listening to us and asking us what we wanted and what we were looking for. But you guys need to start living up to your potential because <laughs> this, this futzing around isn't gonna fly forever. And while yes, we do no longer have the money we've given you, we do control whether or not you continue to make money. So, might want to take that into consideration. Anyway, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, and until the next one, have a magical evening and good night. Until night falls, <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha